Hello Gemini, welcome to another Mystic Unicorn reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you're new here, hi, my name is Eric. It is wonderful to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up guys? So welcome to your general love reading here. I'm switching things up a little bit. I didn't think I was gonna do this spread again this week, but then, and so sorry to the earth signs, but you guys got a little gypped this week in terms of that, sorry about it. But um, I'm kind of, going with the flow of last week um kind of doing something similar we're gonna work with the oracle of visions deck here we're gonna start with this okay we're gonna get your overall energy in terms of what's going on in your connection right now and then i'm going to clarify some things we're gonna get deeper into it with the gilded reverie lenormand deck very excited to work with these right now and then we are going to get into as usual person a and person b in your connection here using the golden universe i'm sorry the golden art nouveau tarot and the Golden Universal Tarot. We're gonna to get you advice here with the After Tarot, and then finally some closing oracle guidance from the Love or the Lover's Oracle, yeah? So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. When we're talking about person A and person B, it's not for me to tell you who each person is. Place yourself into the situation as it fits best for you. I am available for personal readings. Did I say that already? Anyway, I'm available for personal readings. Check the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know that you want a personal reading and I'll get into that or I'll, I'll get you hooked up there. Um, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Yes? Okay, awesome. Let's get into this for you, Gemini. So what messages, what's going on in Gemini's love life in uh, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For Gemini here, what's going on in Gemini's love life right now? All right, let's get into this, Gemini. I'm kind of excited. I'm seeing a bit of a yellow energy for you. I feel like there's a bright and happy energy surrounding you right now. You may just be vibing with your, you know, your happy-go-lucky Gemini side right now. I feel, I feel very, a lot of playful energy around you. Playfulness is key here, I'm hearing. Maybe you're needing to settle into a level of playfulness and not being so rigid in some cases for some of you, okay? But I do feel this bright, happy, shining energy around you, Gemini, all right? So what's going on then? What's Tell us the story for Gemini. What's going on in Gemini's love life at this time? Last shuffle here for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on in Gemini's love life right now? Tell us the story, please, Spirit, for Gemini. For Gemini. For Gemini. Hmm, working on it, okay. Gemini, Gemini, please. What's going on with Gemini here? Okay, card number 50, the mermaid here in a glass bottle. Well, not a glass bottle, but in like a, I don't know, an orb. She kind of looks like she's trapped in there. And you know, this card, this card is kind of interesting to me. Now, I'm totally going on my intuition here, all right? I'm not really trying to use the definition of like in the book or anything, but that's kind of... Um, that's kind of how this deck was uh, designed, okay? Um, but this deck, this card has always been kind of curious to me. Oh, I see, I see. All right, because I was like, wait a second, she's surrounded by water, but then she's in that globe. Is there more water in that globe? No, she's breaching the surface in this. I'm getting very little mermaid type of energies for you. Um, <laughs> I'm literally, I'm literally feeling like you're resonating with the energies of Ariel in the, in the Little Mermaid of wanting to break free from your known reality. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we do have this woman holding a message and a rose. This card often talks about wanting to send a message to a, a lover. There may be different, there, there may be an age gap in this relationship, or there's distance between the two of you, like physical distance. You know, it's a long-term, uh, not a long-term, a long-distance relationship. There also may be certain differences in your lifestyle. Think about it this way. Ariel was a mermaid and her her love interest, Eric, is human, right? So it could be something like that here. I feel like you're, you're feeling adventurous. You're wanting to break free. You wanted to change, change your reality, change your settings. Show us more. What's going on for Gemini here? Ooh, ooh, look at that. Now, when this card came out, I heard this card was in reverse. And okay, and my attention is being drawn to the Venus flytraps at the bottom of this card. 
this is a lustful woman or this is a lustful situation. This is a really tempting type of situation. You may be coming out of some sort of relationship like this. For some of you, I'm feeling an energy of you wanting to come out of some sort of temptress energy. A circumstance where you may find yourself to be the other woman or the other man. Some sort of addiction, some sort of lustful energy. This may be someone wanting to make a lifestyle change in terms of certain lustful situations or potentially harmful or dangerous situations that are very, very tempting. That are very, very tempting. I feel like you learned a great deal in these types of situations. Ow. I feel like you learned so much so that you don't want to be in this type of energy any longer. I feel like you're ready to come out, to move out of this type of situationship type energy. I just felt something stinging me on my foot. I think I was getting bit. Anyway, uh, I want one more card. Can we get one more card for Gemini, please, Spirit? In their love life right now. There we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, for some of you here, this is happening because you are pregnant or you're about to have a baby. And so you want to make a lifestyle change for this baby. And then you have this here, the carnival or a carnival-like energy. The, I just heard the ride is over. And actually, this card came out in reverse. Okay, it did come out like this. You're trying to break free here. This is you actively breaking free. This is you breaking free from a maybe more lower vibrational version of yourself. Maybe more childish, maybe more kid-like energy. An illusion, a fantasy. The, a carnival gives me, gives me feelings of escapism. But you are escaping this level of escapism, or at least you're trying to, because this card came out in reverse. And then you have this card here, upright, where this woman... Or this mermaid is in this glass bowl or <laughs> crystal ball or whatever, trying to emerge, trying to break free, trying to change her, her surroundings, wanting to change her surroundings. For some of you, I'm getting energies of you wanting to do this might feel or seem quite foolish. I mean, think about it this way. Ariel ended up making a deal with a witch with a, an evil witch, okay, to turn, her, to turn her human so that she could be with Eric. There is, a, there is a level of fantasy here, and yet there's also a level of practicality. There is a very real reason why you're doing this, Lib or not Libra, Gemini, excuse me. I just did Libra's reading. But there is a very real reason why you're doing this, Gemini. Maybe it is because you are actually pregnant or about to have a baby and there may, in that case, in terms of that, there may be some obligation here. I mean, yeah, there's a baseline obligation of I have to care for or protect this child, but also there's a fun loving, there, there's a energy here. There's a feeling of, or a re very real desire to do this anyway, like you're on board with it. Wow, Gemini. Okay, let's get into the Lenormand deck here. I want to clarify this card number 27, this lustful, tempting type, tempting type energy, temptress type energy. I really feel like for somebody here, you no longer want to play the temptress. You no, want, you no longer want to be that third party influence. Either you have a history or you had a history of ending up being the third party or al and allowing that. Or, or you have a, a history or a habit of just being in risky situations or uh, situations that turn out to be, to harm you, hurt you, or potentially be dangerous in the end, okay? But, uh, not allowing yourself to be the temptress any, any longer or the mistress any longer is the dominant feeling here. Okay, oh, I, I remember now. So some of you may have had a cycle where you were doing this, you were accepting this in your life, maybe even readily. But for others of you, you find yourself in a relationship or a situationship in which you're ending up being the third party. And it's not necessarily that you... Uh, you um, 
you sought this out or you do this normally, you may not do this normally, and yet you find yourself here. Emerging out of this though, okay? Show us 27 here, this temptress energy, the compass, okay? Dice, mm. risky situations, yeah. Rolling the dice. Um, the, and that's interesting because we were just talking about the gamble or the risk that you don't want to take for Libra here. Maybe you have a Libra, a Libra placement. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Oh, shoot. Look at this. And then the masks. Okay. Ah, and then card number 28 here, man holding a rose. All right. We could be talking to a masculine energy here that was very player-like. Very player-like. And now he's gaining a heart. I... Interesting. What's this mask energy? Card number 40, please, Spirit. What's this mask energy? I get, I get this feeling of choices. Choosing how you want to appear in this world is what I'm, is what I'm getting with that. Yes. And then we have that with Scythe. The scythe, okay? So there is an ending to this, and then we have the lilies here. No, I'm sorry. These are not lilies. These are tulips. We have the tulips here. And that is, the tulips are representative of love. And if you remember, then we had that masculine energy holding a, holding a rose, okay? Some of you, this is an actual masculine individual, uh, whether it's a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. This is an actual masculine individual who is who may have gotten someone pregnant. I'm not saying that um, it was a malicious thing, you know, maybe it was, uh, uh. I feel like this really could be a masculine individual or a masculine energy that realizes they're having a child and now it's changing their whole way of life. It's, they, 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 it found, feels like this person has found love here and wants to do something about it. So that's why we may have this energy of this little mermaid energy of like feeling foolish for wanting to enter into this new realm that maybe they're not fit for maybe they're not cut out for maybe they feel like they're not fit or cut out for maybe it feels foolish to them to even think that they could enter into the realm of love when maybe they just swam around in the lust and sex and one night stands and and multiple partners and not to speak ill of any of that but it feels lower in vibration and it's kind of risky it's kind of a gamble you know it's it's potentially it's energies that could potentially trap you up somehow there is an end to this there is an end to this risk there is an end to this gamble with the with the uh, compass here gemini it feels like somebody is gaining a sense of i of of direction now i swear this literally feels like somebody here has a sense of direction now or has a sense of meaning in their lives because of some sort of child because of maybe they're again maybe somebody is pregnant um or this is just your new life your new way of being that this this child that is being birthed into your life gemini or this person's life gemini and they really want to protect it they really want to protect it this is precious to them so precious so precious beautiful uh, oh my god i love this let's move forward let's dive deeper i want to look at person a and person b in this connection or in this relationship in this romantic situation let's get it person a please one two now i'm also kind of hearing i'm getting that we could be talking about one person here in this situation. So place yourself in the situation as it fits. If you have someone that you're actually connected to, that you actually have a romantic situation that is blossoming with, then okay, we can look at this as person A and person B. But if you don't yet, if you're single, if you haven't made this connection yet, you just know you want to transform your life in this way, Side A, side B, okay? Side A potentially being the past. Side B being, I'm literally hearing the change of heart, okay? Place it in your life as it fits. But let's get into this here. I'm gonna give this three more shuffles. So either person A or side A, we're just gonna call it, 
you know, in this reading, Gemini, I really want to call this side A and side B, but again, it's general, all right? So for side A in this situationship, in this relationship, or in this connection, side A, one last card for you, Gemini, or I'm sorry, one last shuffle. <laughs> But honestly, Gemini, I really feel like we're talking about one person here, and this is going to be the past experience in your life, the cycle that's being completed, whatever is being um, ended with this side energy, okay? Side A for Gemini. Show us the energies of side A, maybe even person A. The Five of Cups in reverse. No more loneliness. You're ready? Yeah. Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Four of Cups, Two of Swords, two, two more cards, please. The Ace of Pentacles. For Person A or Side A in this connection. And the Eight of Wands. And then the Eight of Swords at the overall energy, as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. This person is coming out of some sort of denial, some sort of mental imprisonment, um, feeling trapped. Okay, they're going from feeling trapped, maybe even stuck and stagnant, to moving forward. Eight of Wands. Maybe even wanting to communicate about something. This is the offer. This is an offer that someone wants to make. They may have been in denial about this for, the, for a long time. But Five of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. This person or you at this stage in your life or in this stage of the situation here are no longer crying over some sort of spilled milk. I also hear with this five of cups in reverse, somebody had a cycle where they were in, they were entertaining maybe these third party situations over and over and over again, thinking that sometimes something was gonna, at some point something was gonna change. But what I'm getting with that five of cups in reverse, um, ooh, I just wanted to say Capricorn. You might be dealing with a Capricorn, but Gemini, or you might have a Capricorn placement. But Gemini, I'm getting with that Five of Cups in reverse that somebody has put that cycle to rest because they have recognized and realized that they are never going to get actually what it is that they want from that type of cycle. They are forever going to be left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. So they're no longer accepting this, this cup any longer or they're no longer vibing with that type of energy any longer. Four of Cups. They're finally coming out of a sense of denial here. Two of Swords in reverse. Maybe this denial is understanding exactly what it is that they want out of a relationship and recognizing that they're not going to get it from this risky stuff, from this temptress stuff, this tempting stuff, this, this third party energy. Right, Because that also on the five of cups there, three of those cups have spilled out. That could represent that third party situation, leaving you open for the vibration of the two of cups. Okay, excellent, Gemini. Let's look at person B then, or side B in this situation here. Yeah, five shuffles, one. Show us person B or side B, please, spirit. This is two. Three, four, oops, four, and five. Try that again. All right. Show us person B or side B, please, spirit, in this reading, this connection, this message for Gemini. First card is the Eight of Swords. Look at this. Okay, mirroring. All right, show us person B or side B, please, spirit. Five of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this definitely feels like this definitely feels like a side B type of situation here. Interesting. Next, we have the King of Cups, but the King of Cups is reversed. Emotionally manipulative energies is what I'm hearing with the King of Cups. Show us person B or side B. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. One last card for person B or side B. All right. And the moon in reverse. I'm hearing the illusion is broken. And I'm getting with this king of cups energy, this is someone that is emotionally manipulative. I'm also hearing someone that is emotionally unstable. Overall energy is the six of swords. This definitely could be side B in the situation. Because what I feel like is happening here is with someone coming out of a level of imprisonment, eight of swords... There is a there's there is inner conflict here. Five of Wands. 
I feel like what really helped to break this cycle for you, Gemini, was you coming to coming to grips with some level of inner conflict. As time has gone on for you throughout these cycles, okay, with certain partners or maybe this one relationship, if that resonates for you, as time has gone on, there is a sense of self-worth. Understanding what truly has value to you, Queen of Pentacles. And that has caused you to find that or to break the illusion in terms of King of Cups energy in reverse, emotionally manipulative. It's not going to get you what you want. Five of Pentacles. This was the moment that you realized that you are going to be forever left out in the cold if you do not honor this sense of self-worth or uh, values, morals, you know, not especially for some of you, not wanting to be the other woman or the other man because the Queen of Pentacles would never do that. She would never waste her time with a third party situation. She has got too much to do, too many responsibilities to hold, okay, to keep up with, and too much self-respect to allow herself or himself to be in a third party situation like that. And thus the illusion was broken. You might have been dealing with someone that was emotionally manipulative. King of Cups energy. All right? Someone that just out was out for what they wanted emotionally. And I don't get an I don't get a malicious energy here. Well, in some cases it was. In some cases, this person that you were dealing with in the past, or maybe these types of people were fairly narcissistic. I mean, I I, I will say, I will say if if someone is emotion is is selfish enough to actively put you in a third party situation or want you to engage in a third party situation in which you're the other woman or the other man like that i mean i don't want to pass judgment on all of these people but in some cases yeah that's pretty emo that's that that's pretty narcissistic that's pretty selfish in some cases this was absolutely a selfish energy but you're but in terms of this, you're moving on from that. Six of Swords, all right? Moving from rough waters to calmer waters. All right, cool, Gemini. I really like this for you. I want to get some closing advice for you here from the Tarot in terms of this situation or relationship. Closing advice, please, Spirit, for Gemini. Two more shuffles here to close out this reading with some, some Tarot. Yeah, from the rose section did I, what did i say i think i, I last shuffle <laughs> all right closing message for gemini here closing message for gemini here advice closing advice last things you want to say to gemini in terms of this situation connection relationship seven of swords uh-huh deception lies trickery yes look at that ten of swords though getting away with something secrecy right this person is about to get caught He's literally stepping in a trap and he doesn't even see it. For some of you, the person that you were dealing with that put you in a third party situation is about to get, I, I feel like some of you are about to dodge a bullet. This person may get found out. This is not for everybody, okay? Because the advice, this is the, I'm just picking up on this. Some of you are getting out of a situation with someone at the right time, but I'm also hearing that's divine timing because someone's about to get caught or someone is about to get caught up in some mess that, they, that they've walked themselves right into. Okay, but closing, so for some of you here, you might wanna, that might, that might be your advice. That really might be your advice. Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, and I'm hearing it's reversed. King of Wands. Uh oh. Is it overall? Actually, you know what? I want to get three more cards. No, I'm sorry, two. Two more cards for advice to close out this from the Tarot section. Yeah, look at this. The Moon and Justice and Temperance overall energy. Some of you, some of you are in a relationship with a selfish, narcissistic character, and you've got to get out of this before it is too late. But that's, that, that's just for some of you. The strongest thing that I'm getting here is you are getting out of it before it's too late. You have finally realized, you have seen through the illusion. 
or you're seeing through the illusion. You are recognizing and or realizing. Now, now for some of you, this King of Cups energy does not represent someone else. It actually represents your own energy. You may be resonating with this, this level of selfishness, King of Cups in reverse, however that resonates for you, okay? But there is justice being brought into your life because you are ending this cycle. You are seeing through the illusion. You are recognizing that you are always going to be left out in the cold as long as you are engaging with this person or in this way. Beautiful, Gemini. So beautiful. Let's get you your closing message from the Lover's Oracle. Here you go. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Absolutely, Gemini. I would totally agree with that. There you have it. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the, the description box below. Shoot me an email. Let me know that you're interested and I would love to get you all hooked up. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. With that said, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beauty mouth. <laughs> Bye.